What is going on, man? I'm gonna make this a quick video, and it's revolving around this uh, topic of offering value. Now, I often get asked a lot via Facebook and via email, how do I offer value to someone? Because that's kind of a term that gets thrown around a lot in this world of online entrepreneurship, social dynamics, dating, um, or just any area of your of life. If you wanna succeed in that area, you gotta offer value somehow, right? So how do you offer value to someone and can you offer value to anyone? So let's talk about this real quick because there's a few things to keep in mind. One, what someone finds valuable, what I find valuable, what you find valuable is gonna be different for every single person. So for example, Gary Vaynerchuk was talking about in one of his books, I can't remember which one it was, I think it was Ask Gary V. He was talking about how at one point in time he wasn't doing a whole lot of filming videos other than his um, Wine Library TV video. Um, but he had a guy reach out to him and this guy's name was D-Rock and said, yo, can I just walk, like follow you around for a day and I'll film you and everything that you do throughout the day and then we can create good content to put out from that and I'll do it for free. All right, this guy that was name is D-Rock. And Gary was open to it because he didn't have anybody doing that for him at the time and he could see the value in potentially having someone do that. So that's what he did. He brought that guy on and now D-Rock is his full-time videographer. All right, so that was pretty valuable for him at the time. Now on the other hand, and this is the second point I'm gonna make, on the other hand, if someone reached out to Gary V right now, today, and said, yo, can I walk around and film you for free and you know I'll do all your videography? That wouldn't be a value. To, that would not be a value to him because he already has someone that does that. He doesn't value that aspect of his business right now. So one, you gotta fi figure out what they find valuable, and two, realize that what they find valuable is gonna change over time. So the last time I got asked this question, how do I offer value to someone, was actually last Sunday. Um, in my last live stream for the Swagger Social Charisma sessions on my Facebook fan page. And um, I actually had a special guest on. His name was Ryan Fizico. And Fizico, Ryan Fizico, has an Instagram that has almost 10,000 followers, right? And it's revolving around men's fashion advice. Now, I have a, another buddy named Ryan McGinn who gives men's fashion advice. Now Ryan Fizico is more of the dapper side. He likes to wear suits and ties and whatnot. And someone asked him, how can I offer you value, right? That was a question that someone left on the live stream. So let's just break this example down for a second. So Ryan Fizico, he doesn't need Instagram help. In fact, he actually has an assistant that handles all of his Instagram stuff. So if you tried to offer him value on Instagram, it would not be as valuable as maybe a YouTube value that you can give him because he's actually doing a YouTube free watch giveaway for anybody who subscribes to his channel. So that's something that he's doing right now. All right. So anybody who subscribes to his YouTube channel is going to be entered in that free watch giveaway. That's something he's trying to build up in his business right now. So if you wanted to offer him value, for example, you would try to figure out a way to get this guy more subscribers on his YouTube channel. But if you came to him and said, yo, can I like help you out with your Instagram and promote your Instagram? Yeah, that'd be cool, but it would be as valuable as someone who's trying to add value to his YouTube channel because that's where he's putting his attention and energy into right this second. So one, realize that value is relative. Everybody's gonna find different things valuable. Two, it's gonna be different at different points in time um, based on what they're trying to do uh, with their business. So. That's, that's the second one. And the third thing to keep in mind about offering value to someone is, and I'm gonna make this quick because my arm is getting all shaky, I just got back from the gym, is this. Whatever value that you feel like you can provide to whoever you're trying to offer value to, so maybe it's a business contact, maybe it's a woman, it should always be of equal value. All right. If there's a clear winner and a clear loser in this situation, and most of the time when there is a clear winner and a clear loser, the person who's offering value is probably not giving enough value to who they're trying to get something in return from. So if there's a clear difference in value here, then you gotta change it up, right? You gotta switch up the value proposition because you always wanna make it something of mutual value, mutual benefit to both parties. So 
For example, Gary Vaynerchuk gave this example. He said, if you um, want me to give you a shout out on, on my social media and the way you're doing it is saying, yo, I promoted your book to my list and you only had a list of 17 people, that would be a lot less valuable and he would be a lot less likely to give you that shout out versus if you had 17,000 people on your list. So if you are trying to offer value, decide if if this is someone who uh, you can actually offer mutual value to, or is there gonna be a clear winner and a clear loser? So maybe uh, moving forward, if you're trying to get more business leads, for example, or you're trying to help out someone who could help out your business, try to get someone who maybe is either at your level or right above your level so you can kind of work your way up and that way it's easier to find ways that you can find something that you can do for them that they would find valuable rather than going straight to the top because that's a harder value proposition all right unless of course you figure out that they could be doing something that they're not in their business for example Gary Vaynerchuk and his videographer guy then of course go to the fucking top so social dynamics wise um, being charismatic that's gonna be the most valuable thing that you can possibly do and if you want to learn how to be charismatic I would highly highly recommend clicking that link below signing up for the daily VIP email newsletter where you are gonna get tips tricks and advice like this every single day and then I'm also gonna throw in this right hook right here a jab jab right jab right hook and ask you to hop on over to my Facebook fan page and like it that way you can tune into these swagger social charisma sessions that I'm doing every single Sunday they are live feeds where you can interact with me in real time ask me questions in real time and I'm, I'm gonna have free guests on there and I'm gonna do live presentations every single Sunday night so on that note you got a lot of work to do man do some value offer some value be value be charismatic and I will see you in the next video